face that this world has forgotten. Hmm, what is up guys, I'm Gorzer. Welcome back to an episode of Who Was Really Better? And this time we're looking upon Primate versus the Pizimian, or one should really say the apes that are, of course, a singular fighting type. A very unique individual typing, and it took you quite some time to actually revise what Primeape is. While Mian Chao has been to some extent revised as an upgraded Primeape, they are very, very different. And it isn't until as Bazimia was introduced that we got another ape or monkey to some extent, that actually are comparable. So it's of course up to me to go over their stats, their ability, and of course overarching theme to get over of course their move pool to in the end of this video to decide who of these two Pokemon is really better. And trust me when I say this, Pessimian and Primeap are definitely rivals and one would never consider them from the get-go, but here we are. So first and foremost, we're gonna talk about their typing and the typing is fighting and fighting it alone. And uh, sadly, it's a very mediocre typing. It doesn't it doesn't define itself as one of the worst typings in the game, but it doesn't solve too much. But it's a very, very good combination typing. But as a standalone typing, definitely mediocre with three resistances and three weaknesses. Uh, resist, of course, is Bug, Dock, and Rock. And Rock is definitely one that stands out there because being resistant without Rock is definitely good for possible switching. That said, uh, weak to, of course, Fairy, Fly, and Psychic are very, very prevalent because Fighting type as a whole tend to be special defensively incapable, and both Fairy and Psychic tend to be heavy, specially oriented. So, usually, they're having a tough time, which usually I stated here, a combination typing here does solve a lot with that in mind. Now, Flying tend to be, of course, more physically oriented, but there are special sides with that. Now, with that said, as a whole, the typing is a very, very run of the mill. But not bad, but not necessarily that good either. But the typing is definitely not everything, and since I share it, doesn't necessarily mean everything. So we're gonna go over their stats, and they actually have a few defining stats here. They have a, a few niches going on, but as a whole, they tend to do things differently. Primeape has 65 in its HP, covered with Bazimian's massive 100, and then it comes to attack stat with 105, which is very, very high for, of course, a physical attacker but are heavily rivaled by 120 from the Bezimian, so Primeap also here falls short. And on the defensive side, we see the Bezimian yet again peaks. We have 60 versus 90, so Bezimian is clearly the, the bulkier of these two. Now on the special attack, it doesn't matter as a grand scheme, but Primeap actually peaks here with course 60 versus 40, and then of course special defense, Primeap has a small edge here, and I really mean small, 70 versus 60, and combined, of course, HP make it Bazimian more specially defensive <laughs> overall than actually Primeap. The Winner Speeder is where Primeap shines a little bit more, and that is, of course, 90 for all versus 80. But as a whole, it's very clear that Bazimian is not only bulkier, but also more physically threatening than Primeap. Now, with that said, Primeap is faster, it definitely has a stronger speed tier, but it's very clear that Bazimian can soak a hit without unnecessarily any trouble and can definitely retaliate back. But, as we all know, stats only take you so far, and therefore we have abilities. And they do have one that do share, which is Defiant, which is in reduction of your stat will boost your attack by 2. So that, of course, if you get intimidated, you will get raised in your attack by 1. And then, of course, if you have stick away with the field, you will also, at the same time, raise by 2. And the same with the likes of actually getting, like, taking a Shadow Ball. If your special defense down and actually raises your attack by 2 at also any stat reduction does raise your attack by 2, which is a very, very strong ability as a whole. But that's the only one I share, but they're actually also one of the more defining, haha, <laughs> defiant <laughs> ability of Brumden because it do use this capitalizing very, very well. The primary has two other abilities, one will be an anger point, which means if you get critical hitted, you will get your attack raised to the core 6. Which is a risky ability as a whole, but it, it still is one of those really, really nice niches. But as a whole, as stated, it's a very, very just gamble on chance. Not necessarily that viable. What is viable is Vital Spirit, which of course makes sure that, much like Insomnia, you can't get put to sleep. Which is very helpful for Primate, making it a very, very good lead against the like of Smuggle, Spore, or any Spores in mind. Uh, able to capitalize on not being, of course, asleep is a very good ability. But as a whole, you can't, of course, use rest 
which is unfortunate, but of course with primary stats doesn't necessarily mean anything. But it should be stated here that the divide is what makes Prime better, but the Vital Spirit is one of the more niche abilities you can definitely be capitalized on. Now, Basimian has one other ability, and this actually is a BGC exclusive, which is a receiver, which means that any ally Pokemon that fall, you will get that ability. So uh, combine this with, oh, I don't know, a Sumeril with huge power, and you have a very, very scary Pokemon when a Sumeril really fall. Now, with that said, Basimian's standalone um, in defining. Um, ability is definitely defiant, and that is only because it is just the one that works in, of course, the um, single environment. But the VGC receivers can definitely be niche, but at the same time, I don't believe that receiver is that good of ability. Sadly, due to, I really can't state this enough, the necessarily environment that are forced upon it to be able to capitalize on it. So, sadly, defiant is what makes a simian here. The more viable Pokemon, or I shouldn't say more viable, but rather the only viable aspect of Aspazimian. So with that said, Primeape, due to its extra abilities, is definitely winning this matchup. But as a whole here, we see Primeape has stronger ability, worse possible stats in a defining aspect, and Basimian clearly stands out to be a bit more polygon and more physically capable, and can probably work to find a lot better than, of course, Primeape. That said, a Pokemon, as always, are only as good as his move pool. So with that said, let's go over their move pool. So when it comes to these two Pokemon, what the two share in their move pool actually are the ones that are the most relevant ones when it comes to what they can do. They get the close combat, you know, that's the most relevant one in this factor, and they also do Primate Roll nicely with, of course, u turn in mind. So as a, as a factor, those two combination of moves are very, very, very interesting and very good as a whole. To do get other stuff, of course, good guys to Earthquake, guys to bulk up, rock slide, and beat up. So there are a few extra moves here that they do capitalize on really well, and as stated, as a whole, this is what makes these Pokemons what they are, and definitely one of the stronger combined, actually, move pulls together. But they do differ somewhat, and we're going to talk about, of course, that and see which one has a stronger overall move pull between these two. And if we're going to start off with exclusive move, I really believe Pazimian is the one we're going to talk about first, mainly because it was introduced to Generation, Generation 6, and it doesn't have any mutator move, making its move pool a bit smaller than Prime. But with that said, it doesn't mean that it necessarily are that bad. I, if anything, I'll probably say it's probably one of the more unique move pools in the game due to, of course, its lack of lottering overarching theme. So, with that said, we have the Lies of Rock Tomb, which is the clues move forward. We have Shadow Ball, we want to capitalize on that. But mainly here, we have Acrobatics, which is one of the more niche moves on it, but having access to Acrobat is a very, very strong move and definitely want to capitalize on um, getting more damage output. We also have two moves which are standing out a little bit more, which is Iron Head and Quick Attack. Quick Attack, while not a stab priority move, still is a priority move. And with, of course, Bazimian's rather low speed here of 80, it could be very relevant for it, but with that said, Iron Head is also a great filler, Iron Head mainly because you can attack towards the ferret types and it is very able to defend itself against them and since actually ferret types in general tend to be rather slow, Vizimian is the one that strikes first here which makes Iron Head one of the more actually relevant moves overall. But as a whole, that's all the exclusive moves Vizimian gets that are worth mentioning and I mentioned Shadow Ball mainly because it's hell, it, it, it gets it, that, that's weird, I love it. But yeah, with that said, we're gonna talk about the three generations before it, that is Prime with its extreme move pull towards Cosmosimian. So where do one begin? Well, Prime has a lot of moves that are supported and offensively really, really interesting. We have the elemental punches on Prime Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, Fire Punch are there, together with actual priority move in Vacuum Wave. While not the most interesting move as a whole, it still is one priority and could be capitalized on. We also have Body Slam, we want to capitalize on that. We have Natural Gift, which is very good for the combination of Pokemon that this Pokemon really is. We have Low Kick, if you want to capitalize and not go in for the course of close combat. Uh, and we have a few unique moves that definitely helps here. While I stated Bazimian did get the Iron Head, Primer gets Iron Tail. And while it lacks the tail, it gets, of course, a move. Which doesn't make sense at all, since actually Pazimian, you know what, whatever. That said, Iron Tail is a very, very good offensive move, 120 base, no, 100 base with 75 accuracy, which is unfortunate, but at the same time, is a very, very heavy hitting move. 
But that's not the most interesting one. The interesting one here is Gunk Shot. Gunk Shot 1 and 20, of course, base attack with 80 accuracy is a very good move from the capitalize, of course, attacking those pesky, pesky, pesky fairy types. Now, with that said, we have also a few filler moves here Night Slash, we have Focus Punch, we have Encore, which could be definitely really, really good to get, of course, the lies of uh, Bolt Cap, which is helpful in the combination of it all. Now, with that said, we also have Poison Jab, we want to capitalize on that, but trust me, Gunk Shot is where it's at. And uh, if you want to just mention it as a whole, I guess you could mention Final Game, which is also a factor on Prime Up. But as a whole, those are relevant moves. And I stated Prime Up has one of the more ex exclusive and more unique moves, being, of course, in Elemental Punches and Seed Bomb, which also is a major perk, because, of course, with the offenses that it could be facing in defensive response towards hits. So, at the whole, one could really definitely see that Prime Up has the broader move pool, it is speedier, but isn't as offensively capable or defensively capable as Pessimium. Pessimium clearly stands out with having the relevant moves. It has a very, very strong move pool anyway, even though it does lack the, of course, tutor moves of previous generation. And it has overall a better stat total. So one really has to look on it back and forth and look which one of these really are better. And in my honest opinion, and I really can't stress this enough, Pessimion is the one I would have preferred to use, but in my honest opinion, Primeb is the stronger contender. Though, trust me on this, so while I do will give Primeb here the relevant, more capitalizing that it is the stronger Pokemon here, I really have to say that Pessimion, as a new introduction of course Pokemon without the Mute Remove, still is extremely capable Pokemon. If you could use that bulk as main offensive, it is very capable. And I definitely believe with Choice Scarf set or anything like a Trick Room team, Vizim is going to be very, very, very scary. But Prime Up has the edge here, is the stronger pivot Pokemon. And I do believe they usually solve themselves in the same type of roles. And due to this, Prime Up, due to its speed here, is better. And it's really unfortunate because Vizim is a great introduction to a Pokemon that is very, very defensively capable and very offensively scary, but just doesn't peek in the right stuff and doesn't have necessarily the abilities to stand out. And since the share ability, I do believe Prime Sally stands out due to its extra move pool and probably only to the move pool alone. Unfortunately, as it is, Prime Up is still to say better than Pizimian. So with that said, what do you guys think? And of course, watch next video. We're going to look upon these guys.